Hello guys, I'm gonna show you how to interact with the mouse in 3D. So let's get started. Okay, first let's drop a script on main. Uh, let's call it main. Great. And then first we need some input. So let's say function input. Um, get an event. If it's a mouse motion, you want to add that to a mouse. Mouse vector. So let's call it mouse. And then event relative. Or sorry, event position. Let's create a function up top in the variable vector two. Now, if the event is a mouse button and the event was pressed or it just released, that's what press equal false means. If it was just released, and then we check the button index. If it was the left mouse button, we need to we need to create this function now. So get mouse world position, and we grab the viewport and ask for that mouse position, or we could use the mouse. So you get mouse world position, then we need to get the space. So space equals get world 3D, then direct space state. Then we need a start position and then an end position. And we're gonna use a camera to get us. For the start, we get the viewport, get the camera 3D, then we get project ray origin, and pass it that mouse. And for the end, get the camera 3D again and project position and mouse and then distance so let's go up top and create this so up here just make it a constant it's just a big number uh, 1000 then it should clear up whoops now we need to go to four we need to uh create a physics ray param so we say var param params and we say physics ray query parameters 3d we'll say new then we pass it those start and end positions. So params dot start are from I mean from start and to <coughs> oops sorry that's my C plus plus clicking in there. Then now we use that space to get the result. So we say var result and we say space dot intercept ray. And we pass in those parameters. Parents. So this returns a dictionary. So sometimes if it's empty, that means there's no collision. Otherwise, you get some results. So let's say if result that is empty equals false. You could just print it. Print result. Or we could just print the result, doesn't matter. Let's just do that. Let's print result. So we could see that it prints an empty um, dictionary. Alright, so let's save that. And then we could check over here now. Let's go to tree view. And these already have collision. So this is a box I just created in a Blender. And this is a CSG box with collisions enabled. And there you go. I clicked on the box. So you get information for it so you get a position it's normal the face index and the collider id and the collider that's the name of the actual collision object so it's called a box so the box and then its name and its shape which one of you know some uh 3d machines can have multiple shapes and it's already all right and then if i click outside of here nothing there's no collision on this background here so and then we have this uh, here as well. Collider CSG box 3D. All right. Now let's have some fun with it. Let's move it around. So I have a few other stuff here. So let's see. <clears throat> Let me see. Let's go back in here. Let's create a bar. Grab the object. Grab object. Set that to now and down here now whoops say now we need that if result again result that is empty whoops is empty equals false let's say grab the object equals 
collider. So result that collider. Now up here now, let's go into process. Let's create a process here. So func process if grabbed object. Meaning if it's not now, you want to say grabbed object equals to look, grab object at global position. I can just use position, doesn't matter in this scenario, anyways. Position equals to read a grab position. So let's call it grab position, and we could put that here so bar grab position equal vector two. So what we need to do now is right at the end, this one here, we could copy this and create a grab position. Let's grab this and let's create a new function for this. So func get grab and paste that there. We'll just return this here. And where we want to grab it depends on something we export. How far we want it to be grabbed from. So far. Mm, let's just call it uh Z pose let's call it put that 10 and we could just copy that base here all right no could just use that instead actually so in here we could just say get grab position so get grab position <clears throat> All right, and we need the button to let it go, but let's test this out first. There you go. Now I'm dragging it around. It's not ideal if you want to do it with rigid body, it's just moving this position and they won't interact, but that's a basic idea. So let's release it. So all we have to do here now is see. Okay, so now else, if the event was the right mouse button, you want to say grab object is equal to now. And that should fix that issue. So let's go back here and could grab something here. And then if we right click, it releases it. It's no, so it's no longer moving around. I could grab this one now and move it around. All right, and that should be the video. Thanks a lot for watching, guys, and like and subscribe. See you in another one. A link will be in the description for my Git repo where you could get grab this code. So keep that in mind. This was a update to an old video, so keep that in mind. Take care, guys.